Okie dale, Trog here. It's time for some more space engineers. So as you can see, I've finally built my new ship. Now I had a lot of fun doing this by the way. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, so as I might have told you guys before, let's get back in the first person view as usual. Okay, I'm not very good with uh, shapes and blocks and all of that do that. Um, so I thought, why not just have a go, you know, just start tinkering around with it. The only way to get better is to try. Uh, so I feel like I've done pretty good. There's still some, you know, pretty generic edges and that here and there, but overall, I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, the one big issue I had was here. I just cannot find a block that goes there. Uh, but in the end, it's kind of like a little dimple, gives a little bit of different contrast to the, to the surface, which uh, I kind of don't mind. Uh, the biggest issue I've found is when you use half blocks, that's when you start to have uh, issues sort of blending them in and all of that. So I'll try to stay away from half blocks, but I do like to keep all my builds as small as possible, so that's why I kind of like half blocks as well. Uh, the front here. So originally I had extra thrusters coming all way out here, um, but then I needed a way to get into the ship. So that's when I took the extra thrusters out and took the doors in, and that's why we sort of have this little effect here, which I don't mind at the end. So if we just come in here, uh, the reason I needed to get in here is because I have a med bay here. There we go, med bay. So it's tilted on its side, but it doesn't matter. It's just for like when I go into a mayday and need to heal myself up. Okay. And in here, this is what it was all about. I wanted to build it around a hydrogen tank because I keep hijacking these hydrogen tanks, but now I'm getting to the point where I need guns because we're getting drones spawning and coming at us. Uh, I'm starting to find a few more harder enemies. So I need to have my guns on more and I need whatever hi uh, hijacked hydrogen tanks, jeez that's hard to say, uh, I need them to be put away in a safe spot. So that's one of the main things that this is about. So this hydrogen tank is just an enemy grid, hasn't got much uh, hydrogen left in it. And I've got a merge block up here, it's just always going to stay there. And then all I do is add another merge block there. And so when this one is empty, I just grind it out, and I find another one, I just chuck them back in there. Bob's your nana. And just this merge block here, this is a spot for a oxygen tank. Uh, I haven't found one recently, so that's why there's not one there at the moment. And the reason I do want an oxygen tank in here is because every time I'm on the drones, doing the remote control thing, uh, I'm basically just using my oxygen from my bottles. I don't have oxygen on the ship. Like, I've got a couple of oxygen farms, but they do fuck all. So figure if I get an oxygen tank in here and then I can just chew in the cockpit of this ship, cock, cockpit of this ship, then I'll be safe, you know what I mean? I'll just be getting oxygen from here and oh, we'll be well in the world. Lag. Uh, okay, that's about it. Uh, I did originally have a full uh, like the large cargo container here but I worked out like this is just for going into a mayday and grinding it down and coming back with the loot and a large was just too large like it had 450 what's just shy of 450,000 meters or whatever it is and each one of these is like 10 I think let's have another look uh, I can't find it but yeah I think they're about 10 so that should be plenty and I can always just add another one if I feel I need to. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the internals. Uh, there's the hydrogen engine there, which I've used to recharge it. So this this came off the mercenary uh, ship that I found in the last episode. It was only half full, um, but it was enough to just fully recharge the ship and add a bit extra, so... Sweet. Alright, so this is the rear. Alright, so this is where I got my drone hanging the fighter hanging and a salvage ship. The only thing I'm missing is the tugboat for when I do get a hydrogen tank or something. So I'm not too sure about that. Um, I was thinking the tugboat doesn't need to be on the actual tubing, you know what I mean? So I could just put like a, a, a connector anywhere and just throw the tugboat on that. 
so I'll think about that after. Uh, the other option is also I could always just cut through here and extend this out one more, one more of these arms. So this is my main design that I wanted. I wanted like a kind of like a spine for holding the ships. Like I know most people when they build a carrier or a light carrier or whatever, they try to like put it in a big box with blast doors and all that. I didn't really want that. Like I don't really like big chunky ships that much. I like my things to be as minimal as possible. So that's why I thought this design would suit the way I like things. Uh, the biggest issue I had was with all these thrusters, trying to put them on there and then create some blocks that just make them look okay. <laughs> so I've just done a little bit here and there, just experimenting. Uh, I'm pretty sure as I go further on and I start to fill this ship up, I may realize I need more thrusters. Um, so when I build a ship, oh, there's a block. No, I'll get to that later. So when I build a ship anyway, I don't do the whole weight calculation for thrusters and all that. I just sort of build it and then just guess the thrusters. And then I just, you know, throw some more on later if I need it. So that's just the way I'll do things. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. And just back here, we've got a sorter. Um, so when I salvage in this thing, I chuck it all in here. It goes into the ship and then this ship comes back, parks here, and then there's a sorter for unloading everything from this ship back to the main ship. And yeah, I've just taken these tubes out here and extended it there. And I had to extend it about that far because, you know, I don't want to be busted into my solar panels every time I take off. So Now, I haven't actually moved this yet, so I have a feeling it's going to be pretty weighty. So with that in mind, I threw on just one extra large thruster on the back of the uh, scuzzle butt. Uh, I probably could do two more, like one there and one there. But then I'll also need to find somewhere to put some stopping thrust. But we'll get to that later. Alright, so in the last episode, we found the mercenary wreckage, I think it's called. And I grinded that down in between episodes. Uh, I know you guys have seen me do a lot of grinding, so I just couldn't be fuck showing it. Oh, there's some plates. That'll be handy. Um, and this is all like uh, heavy armor, which takes forever to grind, or well, most of it is anyway. So I just sort of went through the middle of the ship, just sort of getting everything that seemed fairly valuable and whatnot. So that's why it looks like a carcass. Oh, there's a screen. Now I've come flying through a few times, just seen if I missed anything. But I think I've got most of it. Uh, and also there was the dead, there's two dead engineers in there and when I found this the first time I did grab one of them and put them on the front of the ship and named him Catback. Um, I thought I might just grab the other one too just for the hell of it and I've put him here because I just had no idea what to do with this part of the ship. Obviously we've got the dome over there, we've got the main ship hang uh, cockpit there and then um, I just didn't know what to do with this so I just chucked him on there. Originally I was going to do an oxygen farm here, but I don't know, I don't really like oxygen farms, they just look shit. And one thing about this ship is, you know, the three freighters are there. Um, I tried to build this uh, dome to kind of look cohesive with this sort of, I don't know, architecture or whatever. And if I went putting a uh, oxygen farm over here, and it's just it's going to look wrong I think, so... I'm not saying the ship looks right, it still kind of looks a bit wrong, but it just looked really wrong if I had put oxygen farm there, so. Anyway, that's what I've done. And yeah, just on the dome as well, I've got it looking okay, I think. Uh, I've got this little thing at the back here. I don't know, it's, I just sort of designed it on these there was one there was one here that actually came out with a few points there's obviously that one there that I need to redo uh, so I just sort of tried to make it look a bit similar but not the same but it still looks a bit weird but it's something it still at least looks finished off now in this episode I just have one more task to do before we get underway uh, and the goal is to keep journeying off to the alien planet and hopefully find a mayday where I can test this new light carrier out. I'm calling it a light carrier class by the way, I don't really know if that suits, it sounds right to me. So, Alright, so the other task I have to do 
is because we're sort of at the halfway journey, we're, we're about 100, 150 metres short of the what I think is the halfway point. Uh, I feel like I need to put a survival kit on an asteroid somewhere with a solar panel on it. Uh, the reason being, if we encounter some really hostile enemies and this ship gets destroyed and I lose my survival kit or the med bay that's in there, then I'll have to spawn all the way back at the at the uh, like the Earth planet. I'm pretty sure, like all the way back there. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Even if I did that, did happen, and I started here again, and I lost all this, <laughs> I might just rage quit. But anyway, let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, there's always going back to another save, but yeah, it's a bit cheating. So yeah, I'm going to go through this uh, survival kit. I'm pretty sure it's either that asteroid or that asteroid has a like a hole in it, like a tunnel all the way through it. So what I want to do is just load up this cargo container here with a heap of supplies. And I'm going to put a warhead in there, blow out a hole so that the survival kit isn't exposed sideways just in case a drone ever comes past or whatever. And yeah, we'll throw a survival kit in there and a solar panel and have somewhere to spawn. Alright, so I'll get over onto that and I'll meet you over there. Looks like there's uh, like a footprint down there, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, uh, there is a mining carriage out there, that's that red signal. I'm not interested in that. Uh, so this is officially my first uh, a look at an asteroid in this playthrough. Nice. Might be my first time I actually see some ore as well. Other than the fact that I did scout this out earlier, so... We'll pretend that didn't happen though. Um, I could be wrong anyway, this might not even be the one with the, with the hole in it. Alright, I think I've flown to the wrong one. I oh know, what's that? There's some ore. Oh, here, here it is. I did have the right one. Cool. Whee! Oh, nice. I would like to make an asteroid base one day. I think that'd be pretty cool. There's some more ore. Park the uh, tugboat out here. Uh, I'm just gonna go chuck a warhead in there. So by the way, I was wrong about two things uh, previously in previous episodes. Um, sorry, just let me uh, <laughs> get my head around this. I don't even know if I can build warhead. I hope you don't need power for a warhead. Need girders? Oh no. I didn't bring girders. I've got 10. Ooh, let's hope that's enough. Yeah, so in a previous episode, uh, I think it was way back, I was talking about you needed uh, power for merge blocks. Um, but when I put that last dead engineer on my ship, I didn't have a, any power on the merge block on uh, his block. So, yeah, I guess that's not true. Where should I put it? I don't want to make a cavity. And what was the other thing I was wrong about? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I said that you can't put a uh, like a block on a enemy grid, uh, like the hydrogen tanks. I've been leaving like one block on there still that I could attach to. But that previous hydrogen tank that I grabbed uh, accidentally grinded off all the blocks. Uh, and then I was able to grind, uh, weld my own to it, so that puts that to rest. Oh, I'm going to have to go back for girders. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, right, is what it is. I will do it because I want to do this. All right. Oh, look! Luckily, I managed to have the control panel hanging out. All right, so. Yeah, I don't really know how this works, but I don't think you need a battery or power for these. I hope not. 
Alright, we'll do a detonation time of uh, 20 seconds. Give me plenty of time to get out of here and. Okay, armed. And. Start the countdown. And run like shit. Pretty sure I'll be safe here. Phew. Oh, look at that nice little little thingy jib. Uh, where was it? This hole here. Yep. Here we are. Okay, that looks good. Oh, I can't see shit. So the idea is, when I build my survival kit and that down in here, it's not in view of being out to space. Otherwise, if something comes through there and my survival kit's just sort of sitting here somewhere. And they'll be able to shoot it. I don't know if they'll really do that, but you know. You gotta assume they will. Plus I just wanted to use a warhead. Alright, I'll start setting this up. Just gonna go right in here now. Hopefully I don't hit any walls or anything. Might just put a, a light on the uh, ship quickly so I can see what I'm doing. But no lights on this at all. Just, we're going to just run a uh, heap of blocks. It's going to suck, but got to do what you got to do. Um, all the way outside, I guess. And we'll throw a solar panel on it. I think that's pretty much all I need. I don't think I need anything else. <sighs> Alright, it's pretty long. Uh, I had to go a long way to get some sunlight. I wasn't sure, because it was pretty dark down there in that little canyon. So yeah, I really didn't know if there was going to get sun there at all. I'm sure there's parts of this game where some asteroids just never see sun. And there you go. Doesn't have bulletproof glass, but it still works. And that will now be generating power for the survival kit. And I should just chuck a battery down as well. There we go. Working. Uh, luckily, I did remember to bring power cells. I knew there was something I was going to forget. It was just a matter of what. Alright, so let's just check this out. See, and it's actually recharging, so obviously it's going to get dark in that canyon, but it should be enough to fully power this forever. Alright, now we can head back. I should kind of like the lights on this thing, eh? <laughs> uh, looks kind of cool. What do you reckon? Put three more over here, we'll see what it looks like when I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Is this what I like about this game? You can experiment. Oh yeah, not bad. Definitely could do one facing forward for a cave like this. But this cave actually has somewhat got me uh, thinking that maybe I should build a asteroid base one day. I'd like to do that. Oh. Oh. Alright, see you guys back at the scuzzle butt. Oops. I've got to bookmark this thing. 
So yeah, I know I said last episode I don't like to use bookmarks too much, um, but I mean, there's nothing that I could use that would let me be able to find this again. I guess technically I don't have to, it's just somewhere to spawn if I die, I guess. But oh, I wanted to sort of mark the halfway mark anyway, because, yeah, just because. There wasn't too much in that. Inventory full. Hey, look! At least all the lights survived. <laughs> oh, that was silly. I knew I was coming in too hot. Oh no! I think that one did have a lot of shit in it. Inventory full. <laughs> Yes, it did. Oh man, have all the ones to hit. Inventory full. Oh, oh well. Yeah, look at that 13k of uh, interior plates. Inventory full. All right, well, I'm gonna collect what parts I can, <laughs> and fix this shit up, and then we'll get moving. All right, so I just finished the uh, tedious task of cleaning all that up. Uh, got heaps back, so I, I don't know what we lost, but a lot. Also lost a gyroscope here, but that's easy. Alright, I'll just weld all that up. <laughs> Alright, uh, I can't be fucked doing all that shit at the moment, putting the blocks back in. Uh, I probably should just do the colour scheme, shouldn't I? Thought about uh, changing the colour of this whole ship by the way. I don't really want to because I just can't be bothered going around and painting stuff. But yeah. Alright, the moment of truth. Let's see how this thing takes off. Oh uh, by the way I just grinded down the uh, the tugboat. Uh, I'll just start another one from scratch. I'll just use the projector and the factory in there, but I'll do that later. Okay, here we go. All the way from those rocks. Oh, just crashed into something. Mm. And let's go. Oh, okay. The thrust is still pretty good. Damn, it's off. Stop at 60. You no, know, I definitely hit something down there. Jeez, I'm having a bit of a shocker, aren't I? Oh, ah, well. oh, the dampness on the freaking uh, big shipper on. <laughs> All right, let's go turn them off. See, look, I remembered all the little ships, <laughs> just not the big one. Alright, done. Uh, by the way, I named this the puffer fish, by the way, because it kind of looks like a puffer fish. I didn't intend it to look like one, but it's just how it turned out. So, just decided to run with it. 
Alright. I'm just going to cruise along for a bit and wait until we see a mayday. Alright, just saw a mayday out to the left. Uh, good chance to chest out the uh, stopping thrust. Anyway, looks pretty good actually. Quite surprised, all this extra weight on here. And it seems to be holding up. go get in the puffer fish now. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Just waiting for the uh, mayday to pop up again. Alright, dampen is off. Battery's on. Unlock and go. Yeah. Whoa, look at those thrust. Alright, so it's actually out to the right here a little bit. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh, oh no, my guns are trying to shoot the tank through the walls. Stop that. One of this thing was that they wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, you evil bastards. They must have had like a, a line of sight through it, maybe? Oh, that's annoyed me. Oh, I was getting all excited. That's a mining carriage. Alright, I mean it's not too much damage, it'd be pretty easy to repair all that, but yeah, I've got to come up with something a bit more, I don't know, a bit more covered. Alright. We're good. Oh yeah, the gyro is quite nice. Alright, the mayday was down this way somewhere. Okay. go in um, myself, by foot, by suit, whatever you want to call it. I've got a feeling I've done this one before in a uh, single player playthrough. I can't really remember it, but it looks familiar. Uh, I don't really remember there being any guns, so... I might just be cautious though, because my memory is not the best. Shooting at me yet? What's that? Is that a turret? It's not shooting me. Ah, oh, no, that's a fly seat. Oh, that's a Gatling gun. It's not shooting me. Okay, maybe this thing has no power. Alright. If you don't want to shoot me, that's your problem. I don't mind. Just make sure there's no other turrets in here. And just 
that one. Nothing hidden. It's got hydrogen power generators, so maybe there's a hydrogen tank on here. Oxygen, uh, oxygen generator. Oh, and a warhead. When it's armed. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's any sensors, because it might be booby trapped. Okay, nope. I don't know what the warhead's for then. Thing out. Make sure there's no turrets on here. Oh, uh, oxygen! I can't even say it. I'm that excited. Oxygen tank, and it's full. Look, I think it's full. Whoops. Oh yes, 100%. Yeah. Alright, I've had a crappy uh, day so far, but that makes up for it. Hydrogen tank would be nice too, but you know, I don't want to get greedy. Uh, I think there was another piece somewhere. This looks separated. There's some full batteries, but I don't think I need batteries at the moment. And there's this bit. And there's just a couple of flight seats. Alright, cool. I'm going to move in for the salvage. It should not take long. So, yeah, the good thing about this is... This point is right at the back here, so anytime I want to do a salvage operation, I just got to park the arse end as close as I can to it, and that way I'm not travelling as far in the uh, salvager. Bling bling. All right, I'm going to get into the salvage. Uh, obviously, I don't have the tugboat for grabbing that oxygen tank, uh, but I might just have to fit um, like a oh, what's it called a landing gear to one of these ships and just just do it like that, and I'll probably rebuild the uh, tugboat when I get back. I'll see you after the salvage. <laughs> Alright, so I've salvaged down everything of value, I think. There might be a few things I missed. Uh, I did find a little ball of ice, which is nice. It just had over a thousand in it. Uh, I'm just trying to hook onto this thing now, which I have, and unfortunately this is still classed as a... Damn it, that sucks. Um, oh look, I can grind this down. Alright, I'm just going to put something on there with a uh, control pad on it. And then we'll do this. Alright, convert to ship. Get rid of this now. And then we're just going to sort out where the merge bot goes, but I'll go put it in place first. Uh, that way I got a bit more of an idea. I have a feeling this may not go in there with the ox with the uh, gas tank there. No, oh, no, here we go. We're in. All right, now I've just got to go place the merge lock. works. I don't blow nothing up. Doesn't want to go for some reason.
just gonna try taking the landing gear off I do not know what's stopping it. There we go. So there you go. Install. Just grind that one off. Uh, so I just, yeah, these merge blocks just stay here forever and I just attach new ones when I need to join a new one in and now we have all this uh, oxygen assuming my uh, guns don't bloody blow it up oh they got this too. No, I'll fix all that later uh, so I think too when you are installing something in here I reckon these last doors act as a block a block all the way across so even if you're attached to something that's probably why I couldn't do it. It wasn't until I turned off the um, off the landing gear completely and just pushed the uh, oxygen tank in that it went. Yeah, that's my theory. And yeah, I'm thinking too, maybe with the guns shooting through here, because I've got a lot of half blocks here. I don't know, maybe they can see through half blocks or something. Maybe there's some gaps. Oh, I just don't know. I have to play around with it. Oh, I made a mess of it, didn't I? I've welded some of it up. But uh, yeah. I might have to do some rethinking. Alright, I'm going to hook the uh, salvager back up and head back to the main ship. Alright, I'm just going to start to slow down now. See, look at my, all my health bars. That's why I wanted the ship to have the uh, oxygen and uh, hydrogen tanks in there. So every time I get in the cockpit of that thing now, it's going to top me all up again. Alright, I'm just going to go and turn off the guns. For some reason. Park this up. It's going to take a bit of practice, I think. I do have a camera back there. Oh, and we're locked. Remember to turn an ash dampeners off this time. Oh, Alright, so I'm going to end things there. Uh, I think it was a success, uh, except for all the fail, fails of the <laughs> me crashing into things and my own gun shooting me. Uh, but other than that, I think the ship works. I just got to figure out why my guns are shooting through this. Uh, my only theory is is that because these are half blocks because uh, they don't shoot this thing there is a not oh, yes it's so big now I'm getting confused uh, that's the top there we are so yeah this thing here see I've got these full blocks covering it up and my guns do have a line of sight on it we went over that in the last episode but we'll do it again see they could just shoot straight down there, but they don't. So that's why I can only think that maybe it's the half blocks. Either that, or there's some little part through here that isn't quite covered, and they can see through it. Like maybe one of these corners or something. But anyway, I'll have to do some experimenting and maybe try to figure that out. So until next episode, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you then. Cheers.